Want to find out how to get this secret exclusive weapon into Division 2? Well, today's video, I'm going to tell you guys how to get it and why you should hurry up now. As of uh, this is Lazerbolt. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get a secret and almost pretty much exclusive weapon. And the cool thing about this weapon is you need to get it right now, guys, because you don't know if this weapon is going to come back or how fast it will be back in the rotation. So make sure you get this weapon. Before I show you guys how you're able to obtain this weapon, let's take a look at the weapon and see what we have. So we have a AUG A3 CQC. Now this is interesting and exclusive and secretive because of two main reasons if you look at any other weapon that you might have in your inventory all of these weapons hardly ever come with a name we only have some particular weapons which are exclusive or really secretive weapons that you need to pick up that will have a name associated to the weapon type for example if you guys go ahead and check out my inventory i got a lot of weapons here but all of them that i have right here all have military ikm tactical black market and all that stuff hardly any other weapon comes with a name attached to it so this is what makes this weapon special and one that you should definitely pick up right now so we're going to be taking a look at this one now this one comes with a 17 4 uh damage uh, so, you know as part of my build rpm is 749 with a magazine of 40 that's with the uh kind of barrel that i added to that one i went ahead and transferred over the uh bread basket talent to this one because when you pick up this weapon, it comes with a, eh, I would say, decent uh, talent as the first slot. But the two remaining talents, which are Allegro and Rooted, are actually really good in this weapon. So you're going to want to definitely make sure you, uh, you, know, you get this weapon and either swap it for Bread Basket, Optimize, or you could even go with the one I have right here, which is called Ranger. So you could pick any of those. I like Bread Basket. Bread Basket is a pretty good talent that I like having on my Assault Rifle. Now, of course, I already went ahead and added a couple mods to it. I went with the uh, C79, which is, gives me that plus five damage to elites. I added the 10 round uh, 5.5 uh, mag. I wish I had the 20. If you had the 20, you should definitely go with that. Went ahead and added a vertical grip to accuracy. You could actually go with stability as well, whichever one suits you better. And I also went ahead and added a plus five damage to elites on my uh, kind of my build that I have right now. That's what we have kind of set up within the weapon. But the weapon is actually a pretty, pretty good weapon. And now you're probably wondering, Laser, where can I pick up this special weapon? Well, in order for you guys to pick up this special weapon, you are need to go to this side mission. Well, in order for you guys to pick up this special weapon, you're going to need to go to the safe house. This particular safe house that you're seeing right here on the map. Once you head to this specific safe house, you're going to make sure you head out of the door and work your way towards the alleyway. Now, you're going to want to make sure you keep just going straight, straight, straight forward until you get to a hallway where there is going to be a character known as the snitch. Now remember the snitch is the one that gives you the special bounty for you to be able to complete uh, certain bounties within the map. Now the cool thing that you guys definitely need to know is you don't need to complete this bounty to actually access the vendor. What you need to do is talk to the snitch. Once you talk to the snitch you're going to see an icon pop in the map that has a little shopping cart. Now this is shopping cart is going to indicate to you guys where the secret vendor is located within the map. Now the secret vendor is actually going to be located in this area right here. All we're going to do is fast travel to the safe house. Once we get to the safe house, we're going to work our way to the sewer section and make our way down the sewer as we go. Once we're in the sewer, we're going to go straight, make a quick right, and we are going to be able to talk to Casey Mendoza. She's going to have a couple of weapons, and one of the weapons that she has is this particular weapon, which is the invisible hand. Now, what also makes this weapon very unique is the fact that not only does it have a name, but it also comes with a skin or with a shader, whatever you guys want to call it, which is the Admiral Blue Shader. So if you guys haven't been able to pick up that die from any of the crates, you'll be able to actually get this shader or get this die from getting this weapon. The weapon looks pretty amazing, and I highly recommend you guys definitely pick this up before it leaves. Uh, as me making this video, we have an, a day and a 20 hours or 18 hours to get this weapon. So I'm pretty sure by the time you guys watch this video, you'll probably have like about, uh, I would say roughly between 10 to 12 to 15 hours. Now make sure you guys get this weapon now 
before it disappears and we don't know exactly when it's going to be coming back and there you guys have it that is how you get the special secret weapon in the division 2 i hope you did find this video helpful and informative if you did do me the huge favor guys drop a like share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit that notification bell when you subscribe so you guys can stay up to date to everything that's coming out in the division 2 or when we upload division 2 content if you ever want to stop by and watch some amazing gameplay of me actually running some of the builds i have on my channel or just finding pieces and parts to actually create builds make sure you guys check us out over on twitch we stream pretty frequently so make sure you guys hit us up with that follow so you can get notified when we go live thank you guys for watching and don't forget wgatap and i will catch you guys on the next video